Texturing is one of the tools you can use to fully customize your shader. But what is a texture? Well, a texture is basically an image or a pattern of some sort that is used to drive a certain aspect of your shader. So for example, a color texture for a wall could be the image of a plaster or brick texture, and that texture will be projected onto your material and can then be used in many ways to create a more interesting and detailed material for your mesh. So most of the time, texturing is going to be done through images, photographs, or painted textures. This is the most common way to texture materials, as it allows for full customization of how your materials will look. We can already see how easy it is to have an image texture drive the color of our shader. Simply navigate to and left-click drag the file from the file browser panel into our shader editor. Then connect it to the base color input. As you can see, the image is now projected onto our object. This uses the UV map of our object, which is the skinned version of our 3D object in 2D space. You can see some examples here but we'll be going over UV mapping in another video. Now, keep in mind, if you want to repeat the texture over a surface, you'll find that it may look like a bunch of tiles. In these cases, you'll want to look for what are called seamless textures. Keep this in mind for things like wood floor textures, where you'll need to texture a large surface with a repeating pattern. Textures can also drive many other factors, including glossiness, shadows, subsurface scattering, transmission, transparency, brightness, bumpiness, and more. To do this, simply plug the texture into any of the input connectors of these values. For example, if we plug this image texture into the alpha input for our shader node, you'll notice that the texture is now affecting the transparency, or alpha, of our material. Except that it's not. Aha! That's because in Eevee, in order to use transparency in your materials, you'll want to go into the Materials tab and change the Blend Mode settings. I recommend changing it to alpha hashed as it is the most accurate, but it does have a little bit of noise. Another good alternative is alpha blend. Once you do that, you can see the transparency is now working and is being driven by our image texture. Of course, this image is in no way made for this purpose, so for your projects, you'll want to download or create textures that fit each purpose. Here's an example with multiple types of textures, color map, specular map, and normal map, that are able to drive different factors to create a convincing material. We'll also be talking a little bit about procedural textures, also known as generated textures, in a separate video. Procedural textures are not image textures, but rather textures that have been generated via an algorithm. This allows them to have infinite resolution and variability, especially when compared to image textures, which are essentially only what you see is what you get.